Pivot Stick Man is a simple animation program. You start with a single character, which you can place anywhere in the frame. Click on the orange button to move them around. The red buttons let you move the limbs and adjust the figure to the starting position that you want. When you have your starting position, click on Next Frame and you'll see the first frame has now been transferred into this box up here. Now you can move your figure slightly and you'll see a shadow effect as to what the previous frame looked like so that you can adjust how fast your movements are. Your movements have to be rather small to be able to make the motion smooth. We can move our characters on all of these red dots. As we progress along we can see the changes that are going on. We can always watch those changes by clicking play and we can see the action. See how quick that's actually moving there. Now we can add extra figures by clicking the add figure. We bring in a similar figure which we can move along so we can have two figures in our animation. That means we've got two figures that we're going to be working on at the same time. Click next frame and our figure has now magically appeared in the frame. Now much to the surprise, no doubt, of the individual that's uh, in there as well. We can also add new figures from the load figure. So we've got an elephant, a horse, a ladder, a man, man rotated and a realistic man. Let's pick up the cowboy here. We've got our cowboy now and you can see his character. Let's go back and load another figure. This time we'll have a horse for him and grab the orange dot to move him over here. This one here, we're going to move out of the way, horse down, and we're going to put our man on top of the horse so he can be riding. We need to bring his hand up and a bit further forward as well. Okay. If we don't want a figure, we just press delete to get rid of him. Delete the figure with the delete button. Uh, we have a flip which lets us rotate the figure around so he can be going the other way. This is a nice easy way of creating a waving figure. Let's make next frame here. We'll click on flip and then next frame and then flip again and next frame and then flip again and next frame and you'll see how that works in getting a waving figure. And we've got our man and a horse and we can go back and get extra figures to put in. The next option that we've got is to load a background to make the background a little bit more interesting. We're going to put a background in here so now we've got our characters down on the beach which gives the animation a bit more feel. The front and back allows us to adjust where the character is, whether he's being hidden or obscured. We also have the ability to change the color of our character so that uh, you can have a number of different characters in different colors on your animation. When you've got your animation completed and you're happy with how it's looking, we then need to save the animation. So click on Save Animation and you're then presented with a menu. Pop it into an appropriate place. For example, you might put it onto your desktop and you're saving it as a pivot file and that will let you edit it again. You do also have the opportunity of saving it as a GIF file or as a BMP file. The pivot file will let you edit the animation. So that's the most popular one to use at this stage. If you're wanting to export it, then you would consider exporting it as a GIF file. Okay, so we're going to stay with the pivot file because we want to come back and edit this. So I'm going to call it boring pivot and that leaves us with something that we can then reopen later on. This
size figure here lets us adjust the size so we can effectively make our figure grow which will have the, the influence of letting it appear to be coming closer. So I'm going to grow him in factors of 5 and go next frame and then another factor of 5 next frame and we'll move his hand down a bit while we're doing this and this one up a bit another factor of 5 next frame and next frame and let's have a look at what we're getting there see how he's appeared to come forwards by using that size aspect okay we've made some modifications so we should always go back and save the animation it's already called a file there so we'll just click on that one again and save it it already exists we know that but we want to save over the top of it it can replace that one let's now save our file as a gif file and we'll call it the same pivot but it's got a different extension because it's a different type of file okay and we're getting a few extra things we're going to leave all of those as is and we're done we can now close the animation or start a new animation of course we could clear the background then we can go and put a different background in if we'd wanted to and that's it we now exit the program